so I'm here at Waterloo East. You have to forgive me. I'm directly underneath um, a railway bridge, so it might get really, really noisy. And also, the environment here is very, very noisy as well. So um, I'll try my best to project my voice, but I'm here at Waterloo East. This wasn't a planned visit. Uh, running some errands. Well, I was actually coming from Embankment. And typical thing of Londoners, you know, we take a lot of landscapes for granted. And uh, one of these landscapes that I've never actually uh, come across is the Golden Jubilee Bridge. It's a pedestrian bridge that crosses over the River Thames. I thought, let me just cross it. Crossing it, I happened to stumble across Bleecker Street. by far my favorite burger space and it's funny because I've only been there twice and uh, with all good reason they're very very expensive I put on the bacon double cheese burger and that comes at 10.50 that doesn't come with fries and even the burger itself isn't that big as you can see here but the reason why I'm such a sucker for Bleak Street burgers is that they're so unique Never have I had a beef patty in a burger that has that mature taste. See, they, they dry age their, their patties for days on end and it gives it that nice, uh, bold, mature flavour that you don't get from other burger spots. Bon Appetit! I did ask a lady to make it a little bit more well done because I noticed that bleaker burgers they usually cook their burgers medium, but for me, it's a little bit more on the bloody side and I do prefer it to not be like that. It's absolutely delicious. Very juicy. It's very, very tongue tender, like almost buttery-like, just melts in your mouth. There isn't anything I would change about this burger. I mean, the bacon, it's crispy, it's not super crispy like um, Five Guys, but it does the job. You know, you can see how, when I squeeze it, some of the juices. That, my friends, is why Bleecker Street is my favorite burger spot. You know, I've been to many, many burger chains in London, but none compared to Bleecker Street. Opted for their iced tea lemonades. Looks like it's handmade in Hackney. It says it right on the bottle. Oh, that is good. That is some good iced tea. I like the fact that it's very, very, very lightly sparkling. Like it's so subtle, but it works so well with the, uh, the lemon and the tea. It's, it's a perfect combination. Very, very refreshing. I could buy three of these. Probably one of the best iced teas that I've had actually far far better than Lipton definitely far far better than Lipton so if you haven't been to Bleecker Street I don't know what you're doing with your life you haven't lived until you've had Bleecker Street um, they've got a they've got a store in Victoria damn man the noise the background noise here is really annoying but yeah they've got they've got a store in Victoria and they've also got well the one that I'm at right now which is Waterloo East I'm not sure if they have any other branches, but they're the only two that I've come across so far. So I just finished up from Bleecker Street. Enjoyed my burger, it was absolutely delicious. Army wants to go there for another one but anyway on the go and um, I decided to go and try one of their shakes because the staff there was saying that their favorite item on the menu is actually their milkshake because it's so rich so I've ordered the Oreos milkshake I have to admit I'm not a massive fan of chocolate based milkshakes however I do find Oreos to be pretty decent because of that you know that biscuit profile you know you got the chocolate pieces and the biscuits 
So I'm going to try this now and give it a verdict. That's actually not bad. No, I'm underselling it. It's actually really good. It is quite rich. It's not too sweet as well. So, um, you know, if you're one of those people who don't like things that are too sweet, you can still opt for this. At the same time, if you've got a really sweet tooth, this will still do the job. It's very creamy. It's got a good texture. You know you get some milkshakes that are very runny and then you get others that are really, really super thick. This is the nice in-between. It's not extremely thick and you can probably tell because the straw is a standard straw that you would get at like McDonald's. If it was a super thick shake, I'd be struggling right now. It's not as thick as the shakes at Five Guys. And I've always been complaining that shakes at Five Guys, because of how thick and creamy they are, they need bigger straws. They need to sort that out. Five Guys, sort that out. But um, Bleecker Street, I think it's the perfect consistency. Only thing I'd probably um, criticize it for is maybe they could have blended it a little bit less because it's like they've completely obliterated the biscuit pieces. So I can taste the biscuits, but I can't really feel the biscuits. You know, I'm not getting that uh, biscuit texture, if, if that makes sense. But all in all, it's good. Recommend it. So yeah, I will echo, you know, my previous sentiments. If you happen to be in this area, Waterloo East, uh, Victoria, get yourself a Bleecker Street Burger, get yourself a shake, maybe even get the iced tea lemonade because that's actually extremely refreshing. So anyway, I'm gonna lock it off now. Out. Okay, I was wrong. I am getting a bit of that biscuit texture. I think they're sinking at the bottom. So, uh, probably a good idea to swirl it a little bit. 